Hey guys, it's me, Roland. Welcome to Bilingual Analytics. Today, I'm going to talk about the December 2020 update from Microsoft. More specifically, something that the BI community calls composite models. Before we start, make sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button so you never miss a new episode. Clicking on a bell icon also helps a lot. When I started this channel, my plan was not to create videos or guides purely based on Power BI updates from Microsoft. There are already a few smart people out there covering monthly updates, flagging new stuff, and they potentially can cover these updates better than me. My plan was and still is to provide non-techy or less techy explanation on how to use and master Power BI. But hey, rules are meant to be broken. December update in 2020 brought us something that all report builders, creators, designers, and users will love. Yes, it is still a preview feature, however, this is just straight up mind-blowing. Allow me to explain why. Imagine the following situation. There is a report that you have to deliver or you ask your analytics team to deliver. After developing it for some time and testing for another period, the report is ready to go live. Once users start using it, they will raise some questions. In most cases, I must admit, good questions. Let's say someone would like to add an extra field from the system to the report as it makes sense to them. Another user would like to explain one of the hierarchies because that could help their work. Or someone would like to use the core report but enhance that with something new. For example, starting from a sales report and adding budget or forecast. Now, I'm not going to say these are impossible to achieve in Power BI. However, because a few users ask for these adjustments, chances are it's not that important to develop. It's all about priorities and making sure that the most critical reports are being developed and deployed from the whole organization's perspective. It's probably not too difficult to imagine, as any report creator and report user know that we try to tackle issues like this almost on a daily basis, right? Now what if I tell you that with composite models, Power BI opened up the way for users to bring their own data and connect to the main report? What? You already heard me talking a lot, so let's jump over to my PC and see this in action. Let's say that we have a published data model in the service that's available for us to connect to in Power BI Desktop. It is something that the analytics team published and it is frequently updated. Of course, we can be absolutely sure that this is a curated data set. If you want to learn more about how to publish a dataset, stay till the end and I will add the link to my video explaining best practices about report creation and sharing. Here we are in Power BI Desktop and if we click on Get Data, Power BI Dataset, we can search for that data model and within a click of a button connect to it. This step is already fantastic. We can see all the tables, measures, or calculations, and even the relationship between those tables. As you see on the left-hand side, the data view is not available. More importantly, if I want to add new columns to the product table, I cannot do that. Think about this as a logged Excel file. You can use the fields to create a report, but you cannot make any changes to them. But, and this is a massive but, if we go to the bottom right corner, we have a button to click on. And what a gorgeous button that is. Let's skip this pop-up message for the time being and click on add the local model now. As you probably remember, this is a dummy sales report that I've been using for quite some time now. This time, let's assume that I'm part of the customer service team and I would like to see sales made from products that are eligible for priority shipping. I have my own little mapping table for all items, 
plugging if priority shipping is available or not. It looks like this. Now head over to the model view and watch this. Let's skip this one as well and click OK. What is happening here? Now I have my priority shipping table for products in the model. More importantly, I can connect that to my main dataset. Let's create a report quickly based on that new field. The first time I saw this feature demo, I was shocked. I believe this is a massive step forward to an even better self-service business intelligence. It is going to open up a whole new era for BI and BI professionals. Just think about what we did here. We used a master data set or data model and enhanced it with our own personal information. Cannot answer your business question using only the main data model and report that's available to you? No worries. Connect to the data model and bring your own data into the report. I cannot believe this. Of course, lots of testing is required from my side to fully understand limitations ways of allowing users to access the data model in a safe and reliable manner. But even with all of that, this is still amazing. We, report creators, have been presented an option that I highly doubt any other tool is capable of. I'm sure that composite models are an absolute game changer. This is going to make my life as an analyst a million times easier. More importantly, it is going to make report users' life easier and create a much better user experience. At the end of the day, this is the most important thing, making your report users happy and allowing them to fully utilize your report. I'm so glad that a few years ago I chose Power BI as a next tool to learn and master. Thanks for joining me today. Hopefully you can share my excitement for composite models and see what this feature is going to be capable of. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to get notified when a new video is available. Until then, see ya!